Unity Point Health takes you inside the heart for a transradio cardiac catheterization. Our patient is Mike Shirley. He's a 45-year-old from Center Junction in Jones County, Iowa. He's a patient of cardiologist Dr. George Hodge from Unity Point Clinic Cardiology in Cedar Rapids. He has a history of heart disease and is concerned about recent chest pain. Dr. Hodge is performing an exploratory transradio catheterization to determine if a new blockage is causing the pain. So today we are going to do what we call a coronary angiogram or heart catheterization. He will be awake, but he will be under conscious sedation, which means he will get a couple of medications that will make him feel a little sleepy, drowsy, uh, relaxed, and comfortable. The radial artery catheterization is more tolerated by the patient for multiple reasons. The first reason is that after a groin access, the patient has to lay flat for a certain period of time to avoid bleeding because if they flex the hip joint uh, with a recent poke to the femoral artery, which is the artery in the groin, that increases the chance of bleeding. With the radial catheterization, they can set up the minute we're done with the procedure and they have very little restrictions. They can get up and sit in the chair right after the procedure is done. The radial artery is much smaller than the femoral artery, so the bleeding complications from that are smaller than the chance of bleeding from the groin artery. We will access the right wrist. There is a radial artery, which is the artery, one of the two ar major arteries that feeds the hand with blood flow. We will place a catheter that reaches the heart and we will take pictures of the heart arteries by injecting dye in them. We have previous pictures that we will compare them to. If we find um, that there is no change in the blockages, we're going to continue to treat Michael with medications only. If we find very severe blockages uh, that are very convincingly severe in the area of question, he will probably be treated with uh, a stent if it's appropriate. In the event of he has developed progression of all of his uh, blockages and has multiple blockages in all of his heart arteries, then we will start talking about bypass operation as an alternative. Today we found that um, Michael had the same blockages that he had from a year and a half ago. They, these blockages are about in the range of 40 to 50 percent. They do not cause compromise of the blood flow to the heart muscle. His symptoms, his chest pains are unlikely to be related to those blockages. So we're going to treat him, continue to treat him with medications. I'm very pleased that his heart disease did not progress at all compared to previously. Michael ha is on multiple medications for heart pain. So we always want to make sure that the patient is on the correct medications before we do an invasive procedure like the procedure we did today. We invite you to learn more about Unity Point Health Heart Care Services and how to prevent heart disease.